What exactly are the distributional effects of tax policy? One of the primary goals of governments is to reduce inequality and move people out of poverty. To achieve this, governments use the revenue that they generate to fund social programs. Now, how do governments generate revenue? By levying taxes on goods and income. Taxes provide governments a source of revenue so that they can fund programs such as cash transfers, pensions, and spending on education and health. However, taxes impose a burden on people, so depending on who pays taxes, it will have a different impact on poverty and inequality. Taxes are progressive if those who have more pay a larger share of their incomes. For example, Income taxes usually have a higher tax rate for higher income individuals. They are regressive if the poor pay a larger share of their income in taxes. For example, if a poor person pays $10 in sales tax, this will represent a higher share of her budget than if a rich person pays the same $10. A progressive tax reduces inequality, as long as it collects a sizable amount of money. However, a regressive tax can also reduce inequality, if the money collected is then mostly used to benefit the poor. For instance, an increase in value-added taxes on goods could be bad for the poor, but if the revenues are used to fund social transfers for the poor, or construction of primary schools in poor areas, it can reduce inequality in the long run. Governments need to assess the short-term and long-term impacts of their tax and spending policies. For instance, cash transfers can bring immediate poverty relief, but spending on schools and hospitals could yield long-term benefits. How governments collect revenues and how those resources are ultimately spent determines the impact on poverty and inequality.